Hi, Charles here. Well, we finally got our new window put in and we love it. Thanks for watching. Well, this is the latest addition to our van. Um, wish we had thought of this a year ago or so when we were finishing up the van, but um, I'm glad it got done. And um, uh, Red at Red's Design here in Tazewell, Indiana, which is in the English French Lick area, to give you an idea, Marengo Caves is not too far away from here. And so it's kind of out in the middle of sort of nowhere. And we had a, a great morning with Red, uh, just a very friendly guy, knows, knows what he's doing. And he does, when he says Red's custom designs, he means custom. He does not have a cookie cutter, you can order model one, two, three for your van conversion. You tell him exactly what you want and your budget and he'll make it work. And he especially does some really beautiful custom woodwork. And so um, we had a great time visiting. Susie actually was talking to him quite a bit, asking questions about woodworking. And uh, so she slowed him down a little bit. No, most of that was after uh, this was put in. Um, so obviously this is not a how-to. I'll show you some pictures um, of what he did. Um, but it's pretty standard. Um, he did what I suspected he would do. He just drilled a few holes in the corners, otherwise he uh, lined it up and cut around and um, they cleaned the glass real well. They cleaned, he cleaned the edge around gr uh, using, using a grinder, painting it and, um, and then putting the glue on here, strong adhesive. And you see in some van builds where they use a cheap caulk gun and it's really, that adhesive is very thick so he uses uh, Milwaukee power one which made it a whole lot easier. A little over one tube did it and then he and his uh, one of his employees um, lifted up pushed it in and made sure everything was lined up right no gaps and then taped it down and so um, my original plan was to leave it here no no less than 24 hours but it turned out it's a, it's a wonderful warm day it's, it's upper 70s right now and so um, uh, he took two hours, actually would have been done less, but with phone calls and people dropping in, uh, still we're done, it's still done a couple of hours. And so he wants us to uh, have it sit here for four or five hours. So it's already been here for an hour. We went to eat at a, uh, a little um, cafeteria Schwartz family restaurant a few miles away, really good. And uh, so I'm gonna take a nap. Susie's taking a nap in the van and in our caravan. She's gonna head home and then I'm gonna wait here until uh, about another four hours, so I'll be here probably till four o'clock, yeah, around four, four thirty, and then I'll carefully head home. Looks great, doesn't it? I got back home safely from Tazewell, Indiana, at uh, Red's Custom Designs. As I mentioned before, I had a great time, um, learned a lot, and I'm glad I had him do this for me. And I'm going to go back in, in sometime in the next few weeks and have him install a um, DC to DC charger so that I can charge my EcoFlow units while driving. Um, so he's got them in stock, and so we're just going to work out of time, and I'll run down. He said it'll probably take an hour or less to do that for me. So I'm excited about that. Looks factory, doesn't it? It's darker tint than the factory passenger and driver window, so I wondered, What's it going to be like looking out? And I'll show you a clip right here. Um, you can see just fine. And yesterday, as I pulled out of a, a Red's parking lot, it was at the angle where I, I always had the blind spot before. I'm here, and here comes the country road and blacktop. Uh, so people could come along, and I wouldn't be able to see them very well. The mirror obviously does help. But it was so nice just to look out this window and see. As a matter of fact, I think I have a better view out of this window than with our Dodge Caravan. So. Um, if you're new to the channel, I'm really pretty much at the end here because, um, and I will every now and then throw in some videos. We may tr do a little bit of travel vlogging on our big trip out to Colorado coming at the end of August and all of September, but that's just not what we do. We're not van lifers. Um, we go on trips and come back to our property that we love. I don't know if you can hear it. Susie's probably routing right now. I'll show you. Uh, we finished her workshop and she's still decorating and moving things around, but She's working on projects right now. They don't have anything to do with this. So um, she's a busy girl and very happy in her, in her workshop. And her fingers are recovering well from her uh, argument with a table saw. It could have been bad, but uh, they're healing up really well. So 
um, there we go. I've uh, been yakking about this forever in the last few videos. It's now finally done. We're really excited. And I'm going to keep this door shut for a couple of days just to be super safe. But uh, all is well. And thanks for watching.